Okay. Okie dokie. Hey guys, it's Katie and welcome to my channel. We are just going to jump right into it. I put on my Instagram story today, what would you like to hear me rant about? Would it be the Logan Paul situation or this whole wall situation going on with our government? And you guys wanted me to talk about the whole wall situation. So here we go. Uh, I can already see the hate comments now. So I got notes again. If you haven't heard about what's been going on over here, uh, I can get you up to speed. Well, 2016, when Trump was elected, yes, we're gonna go back that far. He liked to talk about the wall. We're gonna build the wall and Mexico's gonna pay for it because we gotta keep them out of our country, America. Everybody fucking loved it and for some reason voted a reality TV star into office. Fast forward, um, you know, 2017, 2018, he was talking about building the wall. End of 2018 in December, he wasn't getting the funding that he wants for this wall. He's asking for $5.7 billion and Congress is just saying, fuck no baby, as they should. On December 22nd, fucking Trump and all of his infinite glory and wisdom decided to shut down the government, basically because he wasn't getting what he wanted. So he's gonna throw a temper tantrum like a little baby. And he has also been saying that the government shutdown is going to continue uh, for months, years if it has to. And I'm like, bro, that's where we are. Today is January 12th. And today marks the day that this government shutdown is the longest government shutdown in history. Congratulations, Trump, you broke a record. I bet you feel really happy about that. It enraged me because with this government shutdown means a lot of things that I'm sure that you already know. It means that almost a million people aren't getting paid and it, it means that the FDA isn't looking at our food. It, it almost meant that we weren't going to get our tax returns. PSA agents who have been calling out sick like crazy. So y'all are all worried about fucking terrorists or terrorists from Mexico coming into the country when they could easily just hop on a plane right now and 9-11 could happen all over again. I'm gonna talk about what is happening exactly. So basically he shut down the government and he's basically saying that he's not gonna reopen it and that it's all the Democrats fault because we won't give him what he wants. My opinion, and I think in a lot of people's opinions, he's using American people as a bargaining chip to get what he wants. What I found very interesting in a uh, video that I watched, I can link it down below, it was talking about how Trump actually first asked for $1.6 billion and he was granted that. And they were drawing up paperwork for a wall that was $1.6 billion. But then Trump came to them and was like, hey, I want 5.7 billion now. Congress is like, fuck that shit. Like we're not, oh no, like we already gave you 1.6 for this wall. We, we're not gonna give you anymore. On January 10th, he went to the Southern border. Uh, and I guess the crisis in at the border is gonna cause him to uh, declare national emergency. I hate to break it to everybody, but the border isn't that bad. <laughs> the border is fine. We're actually at the lowest apprehensions we have ever had at the border. Uh, he claims it's because they're overwhelmed, but I don't think that's true. We are at the lowest apprehensions at the border that we have ever been at. So why all of a sudden are we having some sort of crisis at the border? But right before he went to the border on January 9th, he uh, was in a meeting with Congress talking about the wall that actually went on for about 45 minutes. At around minute 45, uh, Nancy Pelosi said no to the wall again, or the funding for the wall, I guess I should say. And he, like a grown baby, slammed his hand on a table and said bye bye and walked out. Never heard of a president doing that, but you know. And supposedly that whole meeting, like he wasn't talking about anything that had to do with the wall from what I read. Like he was just talking like nonsense and then all of a sudden uh, the wall got brought up and she said no and then he stormed out, so. For research for this video, I actually did read his speech that he gave a couple days ago or a week ago or something like that. Again, I can link that down below if you're interested. A lot of the stuff you can just Google. I really just Googled and, and all this stuff came up. Um, it's simple. In parts of his speech, he really tried to implement drugs and like drug addiction. He's using drugs as a reason for 
us to have more border security because all these people are bringing in drugs, right? But my question is, how come we're not doing anything for the people who are on drugs? A lot of countries actually, when somebody is addicted to a drug, instead of arresting them and putting them in jail, like good old America likes to do, they put them into rehab and they try and make them better people. And they, you know, they try and give them a new life because truly, Drug addiction is an addiction and it's a disease and it's a mental and it, it's really difficult to come out, out of. Putting someone in jail is not gonna help them. Putting them in rehab would. If you're so worried about all the people who are uh, gonna be on drugs, just saying. He also talked about the amount of people that have died from drug overdoses in the next year gonna be equivalent to how many people died in Vietnam. This one's a little petty, I just wanted to fact check him. Vietnam, two million people were recorded dead. In the last year, it's, it's still a lot, like it's still a problem obviously, but uh, 72,000 people died from overdose. Not that close to two million. But another thing that he does is try and use uh, children and women as bait kind of to promote this wall. Like we have to protect our children and all these immigrants and aliens are raping these women and killing children and all, all this shit. Okay, can we please talk about all the white guys <laughs> that have been on trial this year for rape also have not served any sentence at all and not to mention i believe it's two now two immigrant children uh died in the hands of uh the u.s actually not that long ago i think in december uh around the government shutdown is when it happened this is another thing that he says he blames the shutdown on the democrats because the democrats won't give him what he wants oh well it can all be fixed if the democrats just do this it's like no it can uh, the government shutdown can be fixed if you stop acting like a fucking baby and stop it and let these people get their payments like i just he also said that if the if the democrats just came to the white house it can all be solved in 45 minutes really president trump 45 minutes because as i recall the last time you had a 45 minute meeting um the second you were told no you slammed your hand on a table and walked out so no, I don't think it can be resolved in 45 minutes. He also says that people build a wall around their estate and that's why a wall is so good. Just because someone builds a wall around their house or around their estate does not mean it's going to work on a fucking border. That's so different. It's so different. This is what I find the most interesting. You can find this as well by doing just a little bit of research actually on wikipedia i'm pretty sure is where i found this a lot of what trump said in his speech really rubbed me the wrong way i feel as though he's trying to demonize mexican people obviously as being these hateful criminals murderers all this shit right i'm not saying that some of them aren't there's plenty of people who are native to america who are awful and terrible people i mean there's plenty of white guys going out and killing and raping and doing all that shit. But what I found interesting, study by Cato Institute using 2015 uh, crime statistics from Texas, they found that immigrants in the country illegally were 25% less likely to commit homicide than uh, a native born American. They're also 11.5 less likely to commit a sexual assault. On both crimes that Trump is telling us supposedly they're running around doing these things every day are things that people who are native born to America are more likely to do. Just some food for thought. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm gonna go into why the wall won't work because it won't. There are plenty of reasons why the wall won't work, but one of the main reasons that for some reason these people can't get through their heads is the majority of illegal immigrants in America are people who came here legally with visas who overstayed their welcome. If I had a mic, I'd drop it. I feel like the propaganda for the Republican Party, and, and I'm not saying all of people are like this, but for real, <laughs> like, do y'all really think people are just strutting over the border like, hey y'all, I got drugs in my truck. <laughs> like, no, like, 
That's not what's happening. They're, they're coming here via airplane. And if they're coming here via airplane, do you see how a wall wouldn't, wouldn't stop an airplane? A huge, 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 huge thing that people are talking about is how a lot of drugs from Mexico are coming in to America via the border. They think that if we put up this wall, that's gonna prevent all these drugs from coming in, right? Wrong. Statistics show that stashing illegal cargo in vehicles and driving to the port of entry is how a lot of drugs get smuggled into the country, like meth and heroin, which are the biggest ones. It, it doesn't happen when they're going over the border. It happens when they're uh, in their port of entry. If anything, that's where we should be focusing on. If you guys are so worried about the fucking drugs coming in here, we need to be focusing on that, especially considering there's statistics saying that's how drugs are getting in to the country. So why don't we put money into that? Why don't we put more people into that? Why don't we put more things into that? That, that just seems logical to me. It just seems like it makes sense to put more money into the place where it's obvious that these things are happening. And this is where my opinion comes in. I think we need something. And doing research for this video definitely opened up my eyes to what I feel like needs to be worked on. I don't think we need a fucking wall. I think a wall is a waste of money. I don't know why he's asking for more money when he was already granted 1.6 billion dollars a lot of it just doesn't make sense and to me it's it's just very odd why are they trying to make us think that there's this crisis at the border i'm convinced that trump just wants to build this fucking wall as a monument to himself because that's just how he is and he loves himself he thinks he's the shit and he wants this to remember his time as when he was elected president because the american people let everybody down and elected a Cheeto as our president. I seriously don't understand how anybody's supporting him now. A very interesting thing that I saw, it, it, it's a great video. It's literally a video of him talking about how he didn't say that Mexico is gonna pay for the wall. Bitch. How are you gonna lie? Like, I don't even understand how you're gonna lie about that one. That was your whole 2016 campaign. I'm done. Um, those were all my facts. The wall is stupid. It won't work. Do your research. If you disagree with me, I highly, highly, highly encourage you to go online or pick up a book and, and do your own research on this because me doing my research on this opened up a lot of doors and made me even more certain that this is a terrible idea. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think of this whole situation and also let me know what you wanna see from me. Please follow me on Twitter at Hey It's Katie Baby. I tweet a lot and I would love for you guys to follow me on there too. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. It was great seeing you and talking to you. That's it. <laughs> Bye. Fuck Trump. <laughs> when during the campaign, I would say Mexico is going to pay for it. Obviously, I never said this and I never meant they're going to write out a check.